YouTube, Moose 78 back at you with some more American Truck Simulator. This, of course, is my Let's Play series, Stories from the Road. I do this every Tuesday and Thursday. So be sure to check that out. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. Then on Wednesdays, I upload some gameplay footage, so be sure to check all that stuff out. And as always, links are in the video description for my Stories from the Road playlist. No Scope affiliate link. If you're looking for some great uh, gaming gear, some great gaming glasses at an extremely affordable price, be sure to check out the link for that. I got a couple pair myself. Absolutely love them. Pretty much use them all the time. Really help with the eye strain and stuff like that. So be sure to check that out. But today we are continuing our trip up to Jackpot, Nevada. I think I said Elko the last trip, but uh, we're actually going up to Jackpot. Now we are up in northern Arizona. Take a look here. Actually getting ready to cross over into Nevada here in just a second. This is probably, this area right there, that's probably one of my favorite, if not my most favorite part of the game so far. In terms of the map and the scenery and things like that. Just looks bloody amazing. But as you can see, we got pretty decent ways to go yet. Got to get through Vegas, which I, I hate Vegas in this game for a lot of different reasons. One, it's just so poorly optimized. But two, it just seems like it's, I don't know, to me it just seems like a pain to get around in. Seems like it takes forever to get through Vegas. But uh, yeah, that's that's the goal is to get up here to Jackpot. This will probably be about a three-parter. So we got that going for us. So far, not too bad of a trip. Right there at the end of the last episode, we had a bit of a hiccup going down one of the ramps. Didn't get slowed down completely enough. Truck took off like a bat out of hell. Come on. Ah. Why? Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously? So we're out here on the interstate. Speed limit is 75. Arr, now I'm all sorts of Twitter painted. That flatbed up there is doing about 25. Had to come to pretty much a dead, well I did come to a dead stop. I couldn't get over in the left-hand lane and pass him because there was traffic coming. I came to a dead stop, and I'm that guy is still not walking away from me yet. So I don't know what the hell he's doing, but good start to the trip so far, I guess. Now, luckily, we got it stopped in time, and you know, didn't get to an accident. No one hit us, so we got that going for us. But man, I don't know what the deal is with the AI traffic in, in this game. It's just wonky as hell. This is one of my fun, one of my favorite parts to drive through, just because, you know, the scenery, plus the hills. And look, we're already starting to catch up with this guy. So, not, not sure what he's doing. That thing can't be that heavy either. And we went from about 75 to a 65. We'll hit Nevada here and probably go right back to a 75. Can't remember offhand. I'm hopping out here and I'm putting this guy. It, son of a... Come on! What the bloody hell? This trip, this episode is off to a pretty dicey start. Dodging AI traffic like crazy. Grrr. Moose smash. Man, I'm ready to get freaking Vegas behind me. Man, the traffic will start to thin out once we get north of Vegas. Yeah, 
the speed limit 80. That's what these people need to be doing, driving 80 mile an hour. Not so much, Chief. checking out the AI uh, car there. I was taking a drink of water. Do not judge me. And of course, I have the track eye on, so anytime I, you know, look away from the screen, you guys kind of see what I'm looking at there. see right now this run up to jackpot is going to be kind of challenging. But that's okay. We will get through it. Again, it would have been nice if they would have went back and fixed the lights like this in Nevada and California, like they have them in Arizona, where you have an actual left-hand turn lane. But it seems like pretty much California and Nevada are, you know, done. They're not going to go back and fix anything with that. Even though I think they added maybe a city or two to California. So that's kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. So, I was going to say, I better watch it because I don't want to get a ticket for it running the red light there. Oh, come on. Thank you, taxi driver. You are the real MVP. Bullet train? That's kind of cool. Fourth.
See, this is the part I hate about driving through Vegas. It just takes forever and a day. You don't make any good time. All these traffic lights. I just wish there was some kind of bypass you could take to get around Vegas instead of having to drive through it. Thank you, driver. You also are the real MVP. Got a big old chocolate donut and a massive glass of milk. Sounds good right about now. I'll be to cope with all this damn AI traffic. Las Vegas. Hallelujah. clear up quite a bit. So it was kind of hazy there a second ago, but... Better hop back in the interior view. I'm gonna hit that guy head on. Hit the cruise there since we're maxed out at 65. Since this is a contracted run, Beginning to wonder there. I did not think I was going to get that stopped in time. skill yet, so I'm not sure what this thing's maxed out at. 
but it's got to be upwards, I would think, about 75, 77,000 pounds. Keep it low here as we go up this little incline. Still doing good on fuel. So we stopped back in Ehrenberg and fueled up, took our 10 hour break, so that should just about get us to jackpot. The lighting effects, man, I just love how they look, though. So that's why I've not taken it out yet. Because hopefully, so my frames is right now at about 35 FPS. So I am playing on a 1440p monitor, or 27 inch 1440p monitor, so that's not too bad. When I go down to 1920 by 1080, my FPS jumps quite a bit, but man, you just can't beat how it looks in 1440p. It's just so crisp and clean and just looks so, so good. So I'll take a little bit of an FPS hit for that. Gonna turn there, I'm just gonna go around. Because if I'm not mistaken, this is just one of the ones where you can just go around it. Not have to cut through that little little doodad thing back there. That is the technical term by the way. Little doodad thing. See, it just brings it right out back to this road anyway, so I don't I don't understand that. Why it would direct you through that just to get right back out on this. I don't know, the GPS system seems a little bit wonky in this game. That's why I've started to kind of take my own routes a little bit more here recently than then just go with what the route they give me. On this one though, their route was the only route I could take, so. Not a huge deal there. Not sure what that was. Just left Pioche, Piochi. Say, it looks, I will try to get up to Ely and probably take another break in Ely. And we'll call it up in Ely, then we'll come back and finish up the trip after that. So this looks like it could be about a three, four-parter.
So yeah, not too shabby. Nice good long run though. Hammer down for Ely. quick. That took us no time at all to get to Ely. Now we just need to find a place to park and take a break. And can we stop here? Try it and see. No. Negative. Negative. Pop up the map here. Let's do, do, do. yeah. Let's head over there. Head over there. So I wasn't sure if that little motel back there was something we could pull into and actually take a rest. But we can't. And that's okay. Looks like there's an actual either rest area or motel that we're going to stop at just down the road here in Ely. According to the Mini, our stop is just up ahead, up on the right. And it's starting to come into view there. Just be one of the little park areas or something. Yeah, that's what it looks like from here. Oh no, it's an actual motel. Sweet. Sure, 
clear curb back there. Got to do a decent job of parking here. Here we go. That's good enough, I guess. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stories from the Road. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If so, just give the video a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please do so now. But guys, I'm going to cut out on out of here. As always, thanks for watching and supporting. It's greatly appreciated. But until the next one, take care, and we'll be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.